overtime. Vanderbilt gonna win the tip. Here we go. Means first possession is the Temple on a jump ball. Studi. Good D by Damian. Nice switch there. Open man in the corner is Studi, and he hits again. Cannot leave. Kyle Studi all night long has been hitting from beyond the arc. Three point specialist over there in the left side corner. Like you said, Vincenzo, this has definitely been a three point battle. Here we are, Reynolds in the post, backing down Robbins. Hook shot is going to fall. Sweet move there by Jamil Reynolds. Just seems like when they get into the paint against each other, Robbins and Reynolds, it's I'm bigger than you and you're smaller than me. They're both one upping each other. It has definitely been an awesome matchup to watch. I agree. Ezra Manjian looking to use that speed at the top of the key. Nice move with the pump fake. And Nick Jordan's going to come down with that rebound. Battered around a little bit. Looks like Robbins had it. Jordan comes up with it. Temple ball. One point game here, 79 78. Hicks with a cut, doesn't. Diamond Dunn, ooh. Looks to be no call there, Dunn. Try going up, had a man in front of him. Looked like he was getting some contact, looked like a jump ball potentially. No call though, he hits the ground and it's a turnover for Temple. Seems like the reps are letting these players just kind of play physical, play aggressive. I mean, I understand that, but the safety of the players I feel like should be a bigger concern. We will see how the officiating goes down the stretch. It definitely, they have been letting them play. Here we are, just under 3.30 to play. Nice pass by Jordan Wright. Ooh, Liam Robbins dunks on Jung Cooch. Kerr Jung Cooch could not get a hand up there for de defense, and Robbins throws it down on top of him. Nice pass there, too, by Wright. As Damian Dunn looking to make something happen here. Dribbling at the top of the key. The ball's going to be stolen by Vanderbilt. Nice pass over to Wright. Whoa. Looks to be a walk, but no call. Ezra Manjohn tips the ball back in after Wright missed the layup attempt. I understand a hop step is a pro move in basketball, but that was unacceptable. A little bit more than that. And Heiser Miller goes right at Manjon, though, and gets the off balance land. Switching hands there, too, on the left side, using the right. A three point game here. Nearing two minutes to play. Manjon, Iso, is looking for that Robbins pass. Manjon and Miller have been battling. The crowd wants another travel call, but they don't get it, and Robbins knocks down an open two. 85-80. I don't know if it's just the crowd seeing something or the refs are really missing, but they are not on the same page tonight, the fans and the refs. Zach Hicks lets it fly from deep, doesn't hit. Rebound Temple, though. Dunn hits from deep. Wow, Damian Dunn, another three-point try. Successful. He is at... I believe 35 points. He is locked in. What a shot there with, I think, a man for sure in his face. Another one nearing, and he connects. Two-point ball game. Temple on the wing here, guarding. And we're going to get a foul called on Jordan, who was defending Robbins. Looks like Reynolds is going to check back in here for Jung Cooch. Good to get Reynolds a breather there. It's going to be a one and one situation here. Just Temple needs this miss. They got to make sure to box out, though. They have been very lackluster on these free throw opportunity rebounds. So, let's see what happens. First shot goes 86-83. Getting loud over there in this near the student section in the band. Seems that the Vanderbilt coaching staff in just the section is chirping back at the Temple sections here. 
Robbins can't hit the second free throw. Reynolds. And they're going to call a foul, foul on Looks like we might Miles have Studi. Didn't quite see that one. Might have a hack -a shack situation right here. Okay. Jamil Reynolds has not been very good from the free throw line, but it's not Jamil that's going to shoot him. It's Damian Dunn. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see where here. Rebound. And Studi does hit the arm. So yeah. It is. It is Reynolds shooting for two. Good call there. Apologies. All good. Temple needs these free throws, but these could be quick buckets, though. This would be good for them. That would be big, but this is crucial. Jamil Reynolds hasn't been so successful from the line tonight. One and one here. I think it's the, I believe, the eighth team foul for Vanderbilt. Now Jordan shooting the free throws. What's going on here? They have been switching from Dunn to Reynolds to Jordan, and now Jordan will try for the two. I think the or for the one and I one. think the footage we have of the foul was not correct. I think it was Jordan must have got fouled in that rebound situation. Maybe in the box out. Okay. Well, hopefully he can connect on these two free throws. I hope so. 86-83, a minute 13 to play here in overtime. Vanderbilt leads. Jordan hits the first. So Jordan over here, he is a 69% free throw shooter. Now he's two for three today. It's better than Reynolds, so it's good that he's at the line, but needs to make this three for four. Keep them in this. That we do. Off the front iron, rebounded by Robbins. Seems Every like time we say they need it, they <laughs> don't get it. I think I keep chasing them <laughs> time after time. Here we go, two point ball game. A minute to play in overtime, Ezra Manjong. Dribbling alone at the top. Just across half court, actually, here. Man, John, looking to make something happen. Gets it over to Wright, who, hey, fires from deep. Way off. Rebounded by Temple. Transition here. Dunn with a sweet move. And oh! one. Damian Dunn with an awesome yeah! move to the rack. What a play! The Hezzy makes the man miss, goes at Jordan Wright and gets the and one bucket. Tie game here, looking to take the lead with one at the line. Damian Dunn, unstoppable tonight. Wow, just phenomenal. That's his 37th point, looking to get 38 here. He is putting his life on the line for that this is. Temple team. Hits the ground. the free throw. It's good. Temple takes an 87-86 lead. Timeout call. Temple uses another one. That is their first lead since the first half. They had one in the second half, but it is their first lead Did they since take the lead in the second half? I think it was a 49-46 uh, like 46 lead, but you're right. It, it has been, it has a, been very a very long time. It has been very a very long time. 20, well, not 20. Maybe um, I'll go for... We'll say 11 minutes. I'd say plus. even 15. You're, you're not wrong. There's been a, a substantial amount of time where Vanderbilt has controlled this game, and it's good to see Damian Dunn attacking the basket like that. Just coming out. What a play. The hesitation move on the baseline drive. I mean, I really thought he was pulling up for three. He has been all night, and he's been successful at it, too. That move was something special, and then attacking Jordan Wright, who has just been unstoppable all night. Definitely been the Vanderbilt's guy to go to, but not on defense. Not on defense. What a play. What a game. What a game. 38.6 remain in overtime here. 87-86, Temple. Both teams nodded at nine fouls. So next foul, we have two free throws given to the free throw shooter automatically. going to be interesting to see the move Stackhouse makes because I believe it is Vanderbilt ball. Going to need to see Temple lock up on defense here. 
Jalil White yet to enter the game in this overtime as he, I think, is he out, fouled out? Jaleel, Jaleel White, White has been, has been, fouled, been out fouled out for a while. Out. He picked up, um, apologies there, he did pick up his fifth foul in that second half. Caleb Battle, not really seeing the floor in this overtime as well. I trust in the guys out on the floor though. They've all been making the right moves. Here we go, 38.6. Damian Dunn sets a career high tonight in points, which was previously at 33. Now he's at 38. The crowd is on their feet. 25 seconds here as Ezra Manjon is gonna pull up on the left side. Hits. What a shot by Manjon. Sinks it. Here comes the house. No shot clock. This is it. No shot clock. 18 seconds to play. Damian Dunn at the top. He's driving. And here we go. Pump fake goes. Doesn't hit. Vanderbilt's going to rebound. A foul called. They're going to line. 6.3 left. 88 87. Two shots at the line for Vanderbilt. Not a good shot opportunity there by Damian Dunn. I can understand he's had the hot hand and he wants to get that game winning bucket, but not that. I agree. I, I don't know if I would have forced the lay. I think um, I think a lot of his uh, strategy here has been drawing fouls. So it's gonna be tough here. Vanderbilt makes two, it's a three point play, but, or it's gonna be a three point game. So Temple needs a miss or two, but still possible. Tyron Lawrence heading to the line for Vanderbilt. Two shots, 6.3 remaining. First one off the front iron. Wow. One point game here. After this shot, the ball is live if it hits the rim. Here we go. Tyron Lawrence hits the second. Ice in his veins, two point game. No time. Five outs. seconds. Heizier Miller gonna get it to Hicks. Hicks step back. It's blocked. Robbins gets a hand in, and the game is over. Temple falls 89 to 